Hi crafty friends, this is Louise Heinzel again. Welcome back to another index card video. So for this index card I wanted to make something really special. I had some things from the stash of my grandmother and you will see in a second what this is exactly and I wanted to bring that stuff to this card. For the first background, I used um, this brush -o colors and some water, as you can see here. Um, if you are interested in some brush -o techniques, you will find some videos on my channel as well. And you will also find a link down below in the description box to my Amazon storefront where I listed this brush -o colors and where you can get them. So um, I got many, many questions where to buy the brush -o colors. So I decided to go this way and put them into this into, uh, info box for you. Um, to the um, Amazon storefront where you can purchase them if you would like to have some. So um, I had this yellow label from a very special pen that my grandmother had um, years ago. I don't know which pen it is. I don't have the pen itself, but this label. And I wanted to bring it here to this card and also these little scraps um, that my grandmother collected um, from some magazines. And um, I thought this yellow would fit really well to this uh, purple of this brush of colors. And then I had this both um, pens. So they are also from my grandmother and I realized that they uh, don't write anymore. So of course not because they are really, really old. But when I shake them, I could hear that there's um, some ink in them and I wanted to get this ink out there <laughs> so I wanted to have this ink as a memory keeper or something like that on this card so I tried to um, use this little wooden stick there to get the ink out and I was really surprised how much of this silver ink um, came out uh, of this pen even if it um, didn't work like it should so even if I couldn't write with it and um, this was a really intuitive thing I didn't plan anything I didn't plan um, a special thing that I wanted to draw with the ink um, the only intention was to bring the ink to this card and to have it there as a memory and then while I um, yeah try to get this out I um, followed my in yeah my intuitive process and then suddenly I thought okay why not trying to get some flowers um, onto this card so my grandmother was a flower fan and she had many flowers in her garden so I thought um, that would also fit to her as person and um, so I decided to try to get some really abstract flowers um, yeah, as you can see, I uh, tried to get this out there. It was not so easy, um, but I couldn't use um, a brush or something like that because it's um, a really strange uh, color that you can't get um, rid of of your brush. So uh, it's something like, yeah, a permanent uh, ink that's in there and I don't want it to destroy my brush. So I went this way with this wooden stick and that worked really well, I think. So when this um, ink was dry, it was really glossy and I was really happy about that because it looked really elegant and yeah, something special. In the next step, I took my white correctors pen. As you perhaps know, I made this uh, rule for myself that I want to have these white dots from this correctors pen on uh, every index card that I made for this index card a day challenge on Instagram and um, I wanted to have these dots on every card to get them into a context and so I decided to do it this way and then you wouldn't believe it I found this both um, little flowers there also in the stash of my grandmother I don't know how old they are but I yeah to be honest I was crying when I found those things and um, yeah, <laughs> I had to bring them to this card and I don't know why I decided to paint this flowers before. Um, in that moment when I made this black flowers, I didn't know that I have this dried flowers um, that she obviously collected in the past and yeah, that was such a happy accident. I can't tell you that was such a wonderful moment for me and yeah I decided to bring this there to the card as well and then I had this a little quote that um yeah was the next happy accident because um this in German says something about yeah something abstract but something about this flowers that you can um, bring in context with the flowers so it's uh, something about 
um, laughing all the day. Um, yeah. And in your inner soul, you are very sad and you are crying. But for um, the public, you are laughing. And this context was yeah, so incredible for me. So I have some problems to tell you that without crying. But yeah, my grandmother was a really emotional person and she had not such a um, easy life. And so I thought, okay, let's bring this here to this card for a little more time than her life uh, lasts. And um, yeah, for the last step there um, on the top, to bring this into a context with this uh, yellow color, I added this little thing there um, that it looks like a real index card with this little thing there on the top. And then I found um, this blue washi tape with this quote. And um, I thought, okay, that perhaps would fit to this um, quote on the card that my grandmother collected. And I wanted to add something from myself to her quote. So of course not her quote, but yeah, you know what I mean. The quote that she collected for herself. So I added this, let's see what tomorrow brings. And I think that fits perfectly. So this is my finished card. Thank you very much for watching. See you the next time. Stay healthy and stay crafty and have a great time. Bye bye.